Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? What do you see? What do you see? Oh, what's that? Who's that? It's you. <laughs> hey y'all. I y'all I asked if y'all wanted to see the handbag video, what I'm taking to Vegas and what I carry in my never full bag. So here we go. Okay. And so let's get started with the bags I'm taking and then I can get started with what's in my never full bag and all of that good stuff. Okay. So first up we have the all right, we have the Gucci Affidia small handbag, small shoulder bag, right? And I love this bag because it's very lightweight and everything. Um, there's no shoulder strap that comes with it, but I have so many different like crossbody straps. Um, so criteria for bags when I travel, okay? There's always a big one to carry all of my junk in, right? Like either whether I'm traveling my car or on an airplane. Um, there's smaller ones. They have to be crossbody and they have to be able to fit the battery pack for my phone so I can charge mine my daughter and my husband's phone if we're doing a lot of walking so i need a crossbody bag that's lightweight for a lot of walking okay and this fits that criteria so this is the gucci affidia small shoulder bag love that bag i got it last year next up is a bag it's an inspired bag it's a dupe um love this bag i got this from timu y'all and it's good quality good quality i love this bag um it fits the battery pack if it stands up but it's crossbody there's a lot of space in here it holds a lot you know, love it. It is a dupe of the Fendi Peekaboo. I do have an authentic Fendi Peekaboo though. That's not a great travel bag. <laughs> that bag is heavy, but I love it and I'll never get rid of it. All right. Lastly, lastly, the Chanel Classic Flat. Oh my God. I got this last year. Uh, it was a late Christmas gift. I had wanted a Chanel Classic Flat for my 40th birthday. Got a little bit after, but I got this and I love this bag. I always take it whenever I travel because it's a, it's a great everyday dressing up bag. You can wear it like this, wear a crossbody. I wear a crossbody majority of the time. Such a great bag. I took it to North Carolina. I've taken every trip since that we've gone on since I've had this bag. It's been, it's gone with me. So those are the smaller bags. I, I can't take tiny bags on vacation unless I'm just using it. We're going to dinner. We're coming back, whatever. Um, but yes. All right. So here is the big mama. This is the Neverfull GM. This is the biggest size. I love wearing this bag as an everyday bag, but I love it for traveling because you can literally put the kitchen sink in here. Oh my God. My dog needs to go out. Let's take care of that really quick. All right. We're back. All right. So. There are things in here that I normally would not carry every day, but these are things I'm taking with me that I will need, okay? So what is in here that's not in here right now, but will be in here because it's out because I need to edit my video. I will shut it down tonight. It is my MacBook. It's a MacBook Pro. My husband got it for me as a gift earlier this year. He specced it all out. I couldn't even tell you what's in there. I wish just, he just knows that I edit videos and Final Cut Pro is a huge program on any Mac system. So he specked all out I picked it up from the mall earlier this year so yes but this is the case I'm carrying it's padded on the inside it will go in here and then my MacBook charger and all that stuff will probably be packed in my suitcase because it's a big charger so I'll probably just wrap that up and pack it in the suitcase but it will be in here because you don't pack this in a suitcase you don't pack a MacBook or any laptop worth the damn in the suitcase all right next up is this is the book I'm reading okay um, my husband's driving to Vegas, so I'm a passenger princess, and it's a four-hour drive, so I will be, I will have some time to read, all right? I figure, I like reading books when I like reading them, but I'm not a person who feels the need to read every single day. I'm just like, I read when I feel like it. It's okay if I go a couple of days without it, you know? All right, then I have this book. I, I typically use this as like a little everyday like just daily task or whatever, but I figured I'd bring it in case I wanted to journal a little bit about you know my trip or whatever and I love it because it's grid it's good quality I did a whole video on like unboxing this and everything and I really like this I really really do like this um next up is my planner I have an all-in-one system the Aura Stell my Aura Stell review will be up the week after I get back my Moterm setup will be up this coming Saturday um along with the smaller the A6 size and well I love it but my Oracell I use for content planning, my catch-all, and for wellness. 
And typically when I travel, I would only take a wellness planner, but I love this system because a lot of times we're out of town and my husband will say, oh, can you remember to do this when you get home? Remember to call this person or whatever, because you know, I don't do anything else. Um, and so I'm glad that I, I can now write it in here, whether it's a future week or whatever, because I do have sticky notes in here in case it needs to be done later on in the week or whatever, right? Um, and then I have my, this is my on the go planner. It's a Mo term. Thanks, Brittany. Um, and let me turn this ISO up because the sun is going out a little bit. All right. And I use this as my wallet as well. So this will also be in the video with the Mo term setup. And um, it's on the go planner. It's my wallet. So of course it's going. And then the times where I'm carrying a smaller bag and I don't want to carry that, I have this little card case in here. Now I keep this in my um, purse regardless because there's times where I'm just running to the store and I don't want to take this. So I'll just put a couple of cards in here, attach it to my keys and we go. Um, it's just, they're the same color. That was not done on purpose. But a company sent me this, Lar, uh, what is it called? Lark and Ives a while back and they personalized it for me. Really cute, holds a lot of cards too. Um, what else is in here? Um, hand sanitizer that I carry regardless. Touch land, I like this. When I was seeing everybody buy this, I was like, what is so great about this hand sanitizer? It doesn't dry your hands out. So I have, I have one in my nightstand, I have one in my purse, and there's one in my car. All right, and then I have this little pouch. This is from Simply Gilded. I got this from Mercari maybe a couple of years ago, and I have, like, I do keep, like, hand sanitizer wipes. You know, in case I'm giving my daughter one, I'll just give her this and she can like throw it in the trash can or something. Same with my husband. Down there wipes. And I have pads. Even though I just got off my menstrual cycle, we're all women here. Um, I always carry pads with me. I have this little coach wristlet, which is authentic. Got off Macari though. I used to have so many coach bags, y'all. I have some, but I used to like, I used to have like 50 coach bags. Not bragging, but it just shows you how things and priorities change. Um, so I got this. I like this. I was using it as a wallet for a little bit until I got my Moterm. I just have some coins in here and some dollar bills. I hardly ever carry cash. I'm not a cash person because you lose it. You can't replace it. Um, so there's that. I have mace. I always carry mace with me because I go out a lot. I drive a lot of places. And then this is for cleaning the phone. You know, um, you spray it and then you wipe it. So it's a like two in one thing that comes in handy. And then I have this Dove, I got this from the um, Dollar Tree. I really like it. It's the Dove um, Beauty Cream, great for hands, whatever. And then I have um, my White Diamonds perfume. It's funny, so t today is September 1st today I'm filming this and 16 years ago on September 1st, my best friend died in a car accident and this was her favorite perfume. So anytime I wear this, it reminds me of her from Elizabeth Taylor. This perfume right here, um, I got this from a store called Mini So. If you have one where you are and you haven't visited yet, do it. If not, you're missing out. You can also order online. They, it's, it's like a cute little Japanese store. My daughter loves it. And I end up spending and giving them a kidney when I go in there. But you can see how much I love this perfume. And then I carry travel size perfumes. Um, Typically, I don't like putting travel size perfumes in um, in the suitcase. If I'm flying, I have to because you no know, TSA and all that. But here they are in here. This is Miss Dior, Kat Von D, Sinner, Dior Sauvage. There's people who just hate this, and I love it um, because I actually like the smell of it. But there are people who don't like it, and as long as you like it, that's all that matters. And my dog is crawling on my desk. Okay, and I have. Kat Von D Saint. So I like to have options. And then what else is in here? My keys to my car. We're renting a car to take, but um, I have to drive my husband to the airport to pick up the car, right? And what else? Oh, I have this. I love that this is from Erin Condren. You can use it for makeup brushes. You can use it for pens. You can use it for washi. It's the perfect, right, um, perfect shape for washi. Um, you can use it for toiletries, everything. It's like a five in one pouch, all of these Velcro. This is all my lip glosses. <laughs> I'm a lip gloss hoe. All right, I love the CoverGirl yummies. Love these. And I have a Dior lip glow in here. I love it. That lip glow is like 30 bucks. You might ask me if it's worth it or something. I think it's relative. I think it's worth it because I like it. If you don't think it's worth it, don't buy it. Come on now, it's a backup. 
Um, this actually needs to go out of here. And um, the CoverGirl Yummies, I've learned if you buy like the darker ones, they show the color shows up better. If you buy the uh, the lighter ones, they show up better if you put it over a lipstick. All right. And then what else is in here? Oh, I have this. I have some Fenty Gloss Balm in here too. All that good stuff. But this is going with me because I like having different options of lip gloss. Um, I only put this if I'm carrying a large tote. If I'm carrying a large tote and like as an everyday bag, this goes in here. If not, I just kind of pick and choose. That might be it. Oh, we have these deodorant wipes because it's hot. You might yell at one. I, I don't know about you, but I don't like being funky. I, I like smelling clean. <laughs> and I have a pen in here. And I have this little like Johnson & Johnson like band-aids, you know, alcohol wipes. Just in case, you never know. Get a little cut or something, you know. And that's it. That is it, y'all. That's it. All right, so that is what I'm taking with me to Vegas. And those are the bags that I'm taking to Vegas. So now I'm gonna go put these bags in my suitcase and zip that baby up. And I will see you all next week. <laughs>